hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are going to discuss the alleged plane crash in Atlanta that Miss Latasha Kibi was saying on her live the previous day. Because I was getting all these messages and... I was seeing, you know, people posting about this crash, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, but if there's a plane crash, why are you on live? Why are you drinking alcohol to the brim? Because they would let you know if there's going to be an emergency landing, they would let you know that you can't have anything to drink. You can't, because you would be concerned about the drink flying everywhere, about the cups flying everywhere, and potentially, you know, hitting different things. So I said, you know what? I said, let me do my due diligence and investigate. Because obviously nobody wants there to ever be a plane crash. Nobody ever wishes negativity or bad things to happen to people. But if I am in a plane crash, my first instinct is not to get on Instagram live. My first instinct is not to ask for a glass of wine. If I'm in the middle of the crash, why would I be hearing kids playing in the background and people laughing? If I am in a plane crash, why is my husband sitting next to me telling me nothing happened and it's no big deal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to post the link to Latasha Kibi's Instagram live because a few content creators have it posted. Shout out to Kate Verdeen Beauty. There's a few other people who have it posted as well, but that was the one I saw and I kept rewinding it back and I'm like, there's all this commotion. Everybody's like laughing, having a good time in the background. Meanwhile, Latasha looks like she is completely shook. And a simple Google search, because she told you what flight it was. She told you there was a crash. She told you that there were fire trucks, that all this stuff was happening, right? Because that's usually what happens when there's a crash. There's a fire. There's, you know, the fire truck. Everybody's there. Except for they were not there for this alleged crash. Because it wasn't a crash. There was an issue with a blown tire. And we have the receipts because there's three articles who all corroborate the same story and not one of them say that there was a crash. If you Google Atlanta plane crash, do you want to know the last time a crash was in Atlanta, an actual plane crash? There was one in November 4th of 2021 and there was one in October of 2021. And guess what it was included in both of those stories? Guess just guess what was included. Do you guys do you guys know? What is included if an actual crash took place? Number 1, that's going to be the headline. It would say so and so um plane crash going from here to here. Number of X amount of people dead in plane crash. That's one thing it's going to say in the headline. And the second thing is you are going to see pictures of said alleged crash. You are going to see soot on the plane. Outside on the plane to indicate that there was a fire, that there was ashes. You're going to see, you know, people that are, you know, from the fire department, a fire truck, some firemen. You're going to see that as a part of the story. Tasha K said that there was fire trucks and a fireman, except for the receipts from these articles and the video footage. There's no fire trucks or firemen or a fire. And usually in situations like this, they would tell you to remain calm, to be quiet, this and that, so that they can get everything sorted out, except for 
There was all this commotion on the plane. Tasha K was the only one shook. Even her husband kept nudging her like, hey, this isn't it. This isn't it. This didn't happen. Tasha Kay's thanking the flight attendant, calling her a wino because she gave her all this wine and all this and that, thanking Delta. So we're going to get into it. We are going to read the actual article, including the article that cited Tasha Kay's footage because now there's an FAA investigation. So let's get to it. All right, so the first article, and I will include links to all of these because, again, we cite our sources here. So it says in the first article, this is from WSBTV.com. It says blown tire causes rough landing at Atlanta airport, Delta says. So again, turbulence, not a crash. It says the following. It says in Atlanta, a Delta flight reportedly experienced a rough landing at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport on Sunday afternoon. According to a Delta spokesperson, flight 1277 from Dallas experienced a flat tire and the plane came to rest on the taxiway around 3.40 p.m. The Federal Aviation Administration said the plane landed in the grass. A few taxiways were closed by the incident. All of the more than 100 passengers were off the plane by 6 p.m. A passenger passenger aboard the plane told Channel 2 Action News, we had a crash landing, two tires are flat, we landed sideways on the runway, we are stuck on the plane. Docs are on board insisting one person so far. There have been no confirmed reports of injuries. In a viral video of the incident that circulated on Twitter and TikTok, a flight attendant can be heard telling passengers, that he understands people have connecting flights to catch, but that, believe it or not, we have bigger issues that we are trying to resolve. Social media influencer Tasha Kibi was on board the flight and said it was natural for her to begin live streaming the incident as it happened. And Tasha says, quote, the plane kind of tilted a little bit to the side and then it said, bam, Kibi explained. Then she says, everybody was screaming when we went bam, and the plane just kind of lost control. Delta's spokesperson released a statement on the incident Sunday evening, and it read, Upon landing at Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, Delta Flight 1277 operating from Dallas Fort Worth experienced a flat tire, and the plane came to rest on the taxiway. While on the aircraft, receives maintenance, customers are being deplaned and bused to the terminal. The FAA said they would investigate, but that pilots are trained for these sorts of issues. Each landing gear has multiple tires and pilots who are trained to safely respond to these situations, FAA officials said. So that's the first, that's the first article. We're going to go to the second article. All right. Because... I need you guys to understand what's happening here, all right? I need you guys to understand. Tasha K told you that there was a fire. Tasha K told you that the fire trucks were there. Tasha K told you there was a plane crash while her husband was nudging her and telling her that, that it wasn't, that there wasn't a crash. There's kids playing in the background. There's people you can see in the background having a good time. And why would you be served wine to the brim if you just experienced a plane crash and everybody's trying to sort everything out everybody's trying to get instruction on where to direct the firemen the fire trucks everything else like why would you be getting wine from your flight attendant see we critically think on this channel we have to get to the truth Sometimes the initial story is not always the correct story. And in this case, you have to consider the source, you have to consider the receipts, and you have to consider the husband sitting next to the person telling her there was, it wasn't a crash and everything is fine. And trying to reiterate that multiple times during the live. So, article number two. Like I said, remember I said... That if there's a plane crash, it usually says it in the header of the article and the pictures or video show a plane that has been crashed 
and has either firemen or their fire truck. You can see on the plane the ashes. You can see that it indicated that some type of crash occurred where there was a fire. Because that's what Tasha K said. So, second article, and this is from WBSRadio.com. Delta flight blows tire, skids in grass during landing at Atlanta airport. And if you look at the footage, because they have pictures on this particular article of this Delta flight, guess what? I do not see any fire trucks. I do not see any firemen. I'll repeat. I don't see any fire trucks. I don't see any firemen. I don't see any fire that Tasha K was talking about. So this particular article, this picture is what is in my thumbnail of the alleged crash. This particular plane. This is the this is where Tasha K said that the fire trucks were happening and they were there, the firemen were there, they had to put out the fire and everything else. That's what Tasha K told you. Right? So what happened was two tires were flat is what happened, which impacted the landing, impacted the turbulence and everything else. However, there was not a crash. And it even says that the passengers were deplaned and bussed to the terminal. And then the plane had to move to the gate after undergoing repairs. So what happens is where they had to land, they had to land elsewhere because that was going to be safety and a safety for everybody on the plane to land where they did because of the two bad tires that were there. But there was not an actual crash that happened. None of the reporting, nothing from the FAA is indicating that there was a crash. And everybody, all of the articles that I'm reading, they all say that there is no injuries to the passengers. Now, here's the thing, because I've traveled quite a bit for a living prior to the pandemic. And yes, there are some flights that are rough than others. Sometimes you experience tur turbulence during the plane um, being in the air. Sometimes you experience a rough landing on the ground and things of that nature that, you know, can shake some people up, obviously. However, to go as far as to call it a crash, there's always receipts of said crash, right? And I cannot find the receipts of the crash that took place that Tasha K is talking about. All of the articles that I am finding was that there was two flat tires. And because of that, it impacted the way that they landed. And, you know, and that was basically the situation. And they had to, you know, deplane and move the passengers so that they could fix the tires that were flat on the plane. But there's no fire, there's no firemen, there's no fire trucks at the scene for the crash that Tasha Kay is talking about. And like I said, the last time that it was reported that there was crashes in Atlanta was in October and November of 2021. So this is what I mean, you guys. Crash is nothing to joke about or to lie about or to make light of. We take any type of, you know, situation very seriously. Nothing is to ever make light or make fun of. If there was definitely a crash for sure, we would hope and pray that everybody is safe, is healthy, and can get back to optimal health and optimal everything emotionally, mentally, physically. However, in the case of this, according to all of the articles I've seen, according to the Instagram live that I've seen, regardless of what Tasha K is saying, there's no, there's no fire. 
There's no plane crash. There's no fire trucks. Because that's what happens when there's a crash. When there's a crash, there's fire, there's smoke. There's firemen, there's fire trucks at the scene trying to put out the fire. They're trying to assess if anybody's injured, if anybody is hurt, if there is any problems. If anybody is trapped, if the if the they are checking all of these precautions and there is no fire, there's no fireman, there's no fire truck associated with this flight. All of the reports are saying it was two flat tires. So, yeah, it likely was, you know, not a smooth landing. It likely was a turbulent landing. But I have yet to find an article that specifically says that this flight and this flight number, and you guys can look it up for yourself, Delta Flight 1277 from Dallas-Fort Worth to Atlanta, I cannot find the receipts that there was a crash. Okay? If there was a crash, this would be a completely different video. And we would be wishing well, we would be wishing that, you know, everybody is safe, everybody is healthy, and this and that. But this is the problem when you just were found liable for a $4 million judgment. Now you have to pull stunts like these on Instagram to pull people in to try to get sympathy. I don't know, potentially try to get some money out of Delta Airlines. I don't know the motive anymore but what i do know there was not a plane crash yesterday at least not one on tasha k's flight that she's referring to so again we always we have to be honest people we have to tell the truth it is not good to lie and it's not good to lie on top of lies and it's never good to put out there a plane crash when a plane crash didn't happen and telling your followers that there's fire trucks, that there's firemen, and this and that. No, 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 no. If you have a rough landing and there's something, you know, wrong in terms of they have to find a way to get you guys off the plane safely, but there's no fire, there's no immediate need to get you guys off, you guys are still there on that plane till like about six o'clock, almost like two hours later. And then Tasha K said there was something wrong with the engine. That there was engine trouble. And I haven't been able to find any of that in the FAA reports. Where is the engine trouble? Where is issues with the engine? This is what I mean, you guys. This is just like the Cardi B case all over again. The conspiracy. That when the transcripts come out, you'll see the truth. Well, I'm seeing the transcripts of your flight that you said had a crash. And nowhere there did they say that there was a crash. They said there was two flat tires. You said there was engine trouble. There's nowhere in the FAA report that says that there was engine trouble. You said that there was a fire. You said that there were firemen and fire trucks and everything else. I do not see the receipts. I included the picture of what it looked like when that landing happened. So again, we have to be careful, you guys, and you never want to put out into the universe or put out into the world or speak into an existence a crash. Come on now. Why would you do that? So I will let you guys vet the receipts for yourselves and read these articles. And please, by all means, if any of you, and if any of you, Find me the article for flight 1277 from yesterday, from Sunday, from Dallas-Fort Worth Airport to Atlanta. Find me the article that there was a fire, that there was a fireman, and there was a fire truck, and that something was wrong with the engine. Find me that article and email it to me, DM me on one of my socials, send me that receipt.
And I will do a completely different video and say that Tasha K was telling the truth. Because I have yet to find it. I have not found that video. I have not found that video that Tasha K is talking about. Where she's saying that there was a fire and there was fire truck and firemen and there's something wrong with the engine. All of the articles are telling me that there was two flat tires. And they had to move the plane to another location and deplane the nearly 200 people um, and bust them elsewhere because they had to fix the flat tires. But I see nothing about the engine. I see nothing about there being a fire. Tasha K's own husband said that there wasn't a fire. So again, you guys, you guys have to be careful sometimes about the things you say, about the things that you put out there, and whether or not the information checks out. Because this is a simple search. This is a simple search. That's why it's not always about breaking the news first or breaking a story first. It's not always about that. It's about breaking the right story and telling the truth to your followers. I am not going to lie to you guys. That's not what this channel is about. I'm not going to sell you fairy tales. I'm not going to sell you fantasies. I'm not going to do any of that. That's not what this channel is for. This channel is to get to the bottom of the truth, to get to the bottom of what the facts are. And that's what this channel is, to get to the facts and to report on some messy reality TV and celebrity news and gossip. But to more, most importantly, to get to the facts. So let me know your guys' thoughts on Tasha K alleging that there was a plane crash, except for the FAA does not say the same report as Tasha K is giving. Although they did use her footage and they did use some of her quotes from her live. But what she's alleging isn't exactly what happened. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you're notified the moment I can post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again soon.